titled The Unspoken Love. Imagine this, you're sitting in a classroom, daydreaming as the bell rings for the end of school. You gather your books, and as you look up, you see her, the girl you've known for years, the girl who has always been there, but you've never said anything. There's a connection, something in the air, but no words have been exchanged. It's the kind of love that speaks through glances, through moments, through the unspoken. Now let me take you on a journey, a journey that might just remind you of someone you've met or someone you felt something for, someone who, for reasons unknown, has always stayed in your heart. This is the story of Ronnie and Rena, two students bound by the same silence, tied together by the same feelings. Chapter One, The Silent Connection. Hey, Rena, you ready for the test tomorrow? I guess, but I think I'm more nervous about what's for lunch. Food is always the bigger concern, huh? Every morning, Ronnie and Rena exchanged jokes, studied together and shared countless thoughts without ever addressing the one feeling that lingered in the air. Love. They never said it, but they both knew it. Chapter two, the unthinkable news. One day after school, Rena shared news that shook Ronnie to his core. Ronnie, I have something to tell you. I'm going to another city. My parents want me to study there for my higher education. What? Wait, what? You're leaving? For how long? For how avoiding his... Four years. It's the right thing to do. It's just, I have to go. Ronnie's heart sank. He felt the weight of regret and fear in his chest. But what about... us? Um, we'll see each other again. Who knows what the future holds, right? But, um, but deep inside, Ronnie knew this could be the end of everything. He never told her how much he felt. Chapter three, the unspoken words. That night, Ronnie sat alone in his room, penning down his feelings in a letter. He cried as he wrote, knowing he'd never have another chance to speak his heart to himself. Why didn't I say it sooner? Why didn't I just tell her? In the letter, he wrote about how much she meant to him, how she had always been the center of his world, even if she didn't know it. Writing in the letter, you've always been more than a friend to me, Rena. I've never said it, but you've had my heart since the moment I met you. I can't imagine a life without you, but I guess I have to. Chapter four, the last goodbye. The bus station was crowded, but for Ronnie, it felt like time had stopped. Rena was leaving and he had one last chance to give her the letter. Ronnie, and shake it here, Rena. Ah, letter. <laughs> Taking the letter, confused. Thank you, Ronnie, I'll read it on the way. Their eyes met, but neither spoke. The silence between them felt like a lifetime. This, this is it, this is goodbye. The bus door closed and as it began to pull away, Ronnie watched her leave, not knowing if he'd ever see her again. Chapter 5, Moving On. The years passed, Ronnie threw himself into his studies, then into his work, but no matter how much time passed, he never forgot her. Come on, man, focus! You can't live in the past forever! I know, but sometimes I wonder, what if I had said something? What if she felt the same way? Chapter six, the unexpected reunion. 16 years later, as Ronnie checked his social media, he saw something that made his heart skip a beat, a message from Rena, wide-eyed. Hi, replying almost instantly. Hi, Ronnie. The moment their eyes met through the screen, everything from the past came rushing back. Wow, I can't believe it's you after all these years. I know, right? I've been wondering how you were all this time. Um, you, you kept the letter, didn't you? I did. I read it on the bus, halfway through my journey. I cried so much, but I never understood it then. I thought you were just a good friend. It took me a long time to realize what it meant. Feeling a tightness in his chest. I always wondered what happened after I gave it to you. I thought you'd just forget it. Forget me. I never did, but by the time I came back, you were already gone. I couldn't tell you how I felt. I guess life just went on. We never had the chance to tell each other. Chapter seven, the truth. 
They talked for hours, catching up on their lives, their families and their dreams. But one thing still lingered, unspoken feelings. Rena, I have to ask you, did you ever love me? I think I did. Maybe I always did. But life was never easy, was it? By the time I figured it out, you were already gone. Um, and I never knew. I kept thinking it was just me, that I was the only one who felt this way. <laughs> you weren't the only one, but by the time I realized it, it felt too late. Looking at her picture on screen, I've always wondered what would have happened if we had just said something. <laughs> Maybe we were meant to be apart. Maybe it was fate. Chapter eight, a new understanding. As the conversation ended, both Ronnie and Rena understood that love isn't about ownership. It's about letting go and wishing the best for someone else, even if that means letting them go. You know, I don't think it matters anymore if we were ever together. What matters is that we're talking now, that we're both happy. I agree. True love isn't about possession. It's about happiness, even if it's from afar. The final lesson. The years had passed, but Ronnie and Rena finally shared the words they never could before. It wasn't about the timing or whether they ended up together. It was about understanding that love in its purest form is selfless. I guess sometimes the most important thing is knowing someone else is happy, no matter where life takes them. That's true love. Wishing the best for someone, even from afar. And with that, they both found peace. The unanswered questions that had haunted them for years were finally answered, and the love they had carried in their hearts for all this time was finally set free. So, my dear friends. How many of you have a story like this? A love that was never spoken, a feeling that was never expressed? What if, just like Ronnie and Rena, you let go of your fears and told the person how you really feel? This is not just a story. It's a reminder to you all. Sometimes the people we care about might never know how much we love them unless we speak up. And sometimes the love we think we've lost may still be there, silently waiting to be found again. 